Hello everyone. In our last video we took a look at how to use Adobe Web Fonts on, a, on an HTML page. In this video we're going to take a look at how to use Google Fonts. It's very easy. The cool thing about Google Fonts is that they are free compared to the Adobe product which you have to pay for. So tuck that away and just know about it. Okay everybody please go to fonts.google.com fonts.google.com and I want you to come down here to Open Sans. Open Sans is a very recognized uh, type uh, typeface so it's used quite a bit on the web because it has a very large X height. Another thing that I personally like about it is it has a little more space horizontally for each of the letter forms. Okay so let's choose this one. Now if you see something that doesn't look like English here, you're going to need to come down to, uh, to the selection boxes here and choose Americas and then choose English and then you should be just fine. Now I want to view all of the styles so I'm going to click on view all the styles and I'm just going to jump down the page. I know that I'm going to use this as a paragraph element. I want it to replace the serif font that I have here on my web page. So I don't want something that's too thin and I don't want something that's too thick. So I think I'm going to go for the regular, yeah let's just do regular 400. I'm going to add that. And I might also add the italic because you never know when you might need that. Now you, when you click this you may have had a, a, a menu slide out from the right. Mine has not done that but don't panic. If that's happened to you, come up to View Selected Families in the upper right hand corner and click. That will slide out, out the panel that you need. You can verify that you have Open Sans that you want to download, excuse me, that you want to link. We're not downloading it. I've got regular 400 and regular 400 italic, so that looks great. There are two ways that you can use this. You can use it with the link, which just yeah, you guys, you HTML people, you know what a link is. There's also the at import that you would use right inside of your um, master.css file. I'm going to go back to the link and I am going to select all of that and hit command C to copy or, com or control C to copy depending on your um, operating system. Now back in your HTML page I'm going to go just above wherever my um, my master file is for my CSS and I'm going to put a little extra space in there then I'm going to paste my link by hitting command V or control V. Now let me tidy this up a little bit because I I'm a real stickler about how my code looks. So I can see that I've got one, two, three linked files for Google Fonts that is normal for them but I can see down here that you can that the name of the family is there, Open Sans. So that is exactly what I need. So there's a couple of different ways you can verify this, isn't there? Now I am going to target a paragraph tag. So type in P and then an opening opening and closing curly. And give yourself a little space. Once you have that done, we're going to go back to Google Fonts and grab a little bit more code. So the one that I want is right down here. CSS rules to specify families. Grab all of that. Hit Command C on a Mac and Control C on a PC. Go back to your HTML file and paste it. Command V on a Mac or Control V on a PC. Now save the file and we will update this. We should see these change. I'm going to refresh my page and there it is. You see how much easier that is to read now compared to what it was before? That taller X height and a little bit wider of a letter form really does make a difference. Okay guys, I hope you enjoyed seeing that. I'll see you guys in the next video.